hello guys today we're gonna learn how to turn off shutdown times or not turn off like i mean to how to increase shutdown idle shutdown time so let me show you on my truck the thing uh, okay so the truck is just cold you can see there's ice on it it's, it's too cold right now so as soon i turn on the ignition as soon i start the truck you can see the idle shutdown time comes on but this time is not enough to warm up the truck so we're not gonna turn it off because you not supposed to turn off the idle shutdown time because it's gonna fill up your def so it's better to increase the time we're gonna do it to like 10 minutes we're gonna change the parameters to 10 minutes so at least truck can warm up a bit so let's start it we're gonna hook up the computer with the diagnostic tools so i hook up the diagnostic link software within the truck and uh, first first thing you have to see check uh, if there's any fault codes like i have one fault code is uh, mq switch buzz malfunction so this is because of this switches you can see the switches maybe one of the switches it's installed but it's not matching with the parameters so because of that it the code comes active it's gonna stay active so but this is not really major so if even if you clear it will stay there you can see even I'm trying to clear it, it it doesn't clear it stays there so you can't do nothing with it you have to fix this you have to check the few uh, check the switch which one you change it and then uh, you can repair that okay so first thing we're gonna do you can see on the side it's parameters you go to the parameters let the parameter read properly you can see there's a green line let it complete Okay, so see the parameters were fully so were successfully read from the, the from the device. Okay, so you can see on the top there's options idle and PTO shutdown. There's all of them. So you go to the idle and PTO shutdown. So when you come up to there, you can see the parameters for sh idle shutdown. Idle enable idle shutdown. So it's enabled. You can disable here, but I would recommend you not to do it you can see it disabled but do not do it so the second thing is shut down override idle speed threshold so this is with the rpm so okay so you don't have to touch this one so come up to their idle shutdown time so you can see there's one and 180 seconds but you can change maximum to 5000 so you can change it to to uh, the whatever you time you want but you cannot exceed more than 5000 so and the another thing is you can do it is idle shutdown minimum coolant temperature so you can see my truck is so cold it doesn't even warm up and it's keep on shutting down because the temperature coolant temperature is reached 50 so what you can do is you can change it here 220 120 so when your coolant temperature reach 120 so then your temp your uh, your idle shutdown will come on so but the maximum you can you can go to 410 the minimum is 40 so maximum you can go for 410 but you don't want to go 410 anyway so just go 120 that's a decent uh, temperature your truck will be warm so this is how you change uh, the parameters for the for the idle shutdown there's a lot of another, another shutdown restart enable this and that but you don't have to touch any of them so here's another one idle shutdown with ambient air temperature so you can also do it with this too like outside temperature so your idle shutdown will like say outside is like a 25 temperature is 25 so as soon as it's reached there uh, below that uh, sorry uh, over that it will shut down so so it's already set on to 25 but now it's minus here so i'm just gonna change only two two parameters the coolant temperature and then the idle shutdown time so 
let's enter this one 120 and sorry this one I'm gonna do it to like 3500 so this is how you do it so when you go forward it's gonna ask you the password when you go to the send it's gonna ask you the password here it's gonna ask you to make sure this is this is the parameters you're changing this is the original right now that's what you're going to change and then you press ok here and then he's gonna ask you the password just put your password and uh, your parameters will be changed so this is how you change the parameters thank you for watching my video i will come with uh, another video for the volvo how to change the parameters uh, add the shutdown parameter on volvo thank you